noticed you, you did it and then you asked me and you didn't wait for my answer. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. You said, you sorry. You mind if I do this and you did it without that answer? Why? Lisa Underwood is probably on the, stuck on the Van Wick or something, but please come on up. Thank you. Story, yeah. so, uh, I'm good also, I'm going to be swapping the keyboard out. right now, so if you can just shut off the volume on that keyboard, I'm going to make a swap. So, so the other day, right, I was, I was walking down the street, down Morris Park, and I uh, started getting a little hungry, so I decided to go to a restaurant to get some tomato soup, my favorite soup. So I go into the restaurant, tomato soup is ordered, and I'm looking down at the soup, and I notice there's something buzzing in it. And I'm like, hey waiter, well what's this fly doing in my soup? What do you think he said? He said it's doing the backstroke. Thank you. Thank you, that's for you. Whoever said that. We're just waiting for one of the band members. Two of the band members. She goes and uh, I want to ask a favor anybody can take a video of these next three songs this is we're doing Sweetwater Sweetwater was actually a band that was similar to Jefferson Airplane in the 60s and uh, they had no guitar believe it or not but no uh, guitar no guitar they had like violin they had cello obviously cello. electric piano bass guitar two conga players um, unfortunately the singer got into an accident after Woodstock but she recovered no. but the band as it was kind of stopped and everyone forgot about them. No one knew that this band Sweetwater was like the second act of Woodstock. Um, but um, it was discovered later, and we love playing it. And what I'm really shocked is Melissa Lopez loves this stuff. And she went and learned it note for note, and she taught me better again. You know, you know I play it forever, but she knows it right. So she's coming on up. And we got Karin to help us out. We're gonna do Y-O-Y, and then when that's done, we're gonna bring up an amazing flute player. I know there's another word for it, flautist, but that sounds like flatulations. I don't like that word. Let's just say flute player. Yes.
guitar. I mean, they did. Sweetwater did not have a guitar, but we like it with it. Thank you, Ka thank you, Corin. Thank you, Corin. All right, come on up, Lisa. Again, a big props to our buddy Carl for taking on the cello over there. And a big thanks to Prashant for that amazing violin. Not only does he do Ravi Shankar, but he, he does Sweet Order really good. But we got Lisa Underwood on the flute. So we got another two songs by Sweetwater. And again, we ask if anybody, just please take a video of this and get it to us, because this is precious to us. And everyone in the band is here, so we can't take our own video, right? Unless we do a selfie, and that would be bad. So if you get one, just let me know. Thank you.
That was the uh, song that was open, that uh, Sweetwater opened up at Woodstock Motherless Child. It's amazing. Come 50 years later, you get people that were born like 30 years later than that, and they play the song like note for note. Um, I gotta tell you, it's Melissa and Lisa and just everybody here, I'm impressed. All right, next song was done. This was not done at Woodstock, but this was actually a very big song for Sweetwater. Well, in a rainbow. I actually dedicated this to uh, my friend Lucille, who passed away from cancer, who uh, played this song with my band whenever she was around. Um, when I hear Lisa play it, I get the chills, because it does kind of sound similar. Um, cancer sucks, as we know, but uh, you guys here as doctors are helping out to fight that, and that's why it's good to work in a place that things are meaningful. So without further ado, uh, in a rainbow. This was played in the Bronx, I don't know, 1968. So this was historical. Thank you so much. Now, who's next? Who's be next? Who's coming up next? All right, at this point, we want to bring up no uh, Noah and uh, Joy. Come on up.
right now. When Clearance Clearwater played at Woodstock, everybody was asleep because the Grateful Dead put everybody to sleep with a very horrible set. And I feel like them. I'm looking and I don't see a thing because of the lights. So Clearance Clearwater also was playing for everyone sleeping. They couldn't see anybody's faces except for one person who had a cigarette lighter on. So I'm glad nobody smokes, but if you had a lighter, I would see it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Listen, a little shout out to those family that are here. No, they're doing something kind of different. I can't see it, but I know you're here because I hear you. By the way, no one doesn't remember, but like a year and a half ago, we had no singer, and Noah showed up and played at the Chabad barbecue and helped us out because no one else was here to do it. And then he, of course, heard his voice, he needed surgery, and they sue him, but he's not. TMI. Thank you, Noah. Now everybody can hear your beautiful singing voice. Alright, we're going to do two songs by Korean's Clearwater Revival. The first song is called, Who Will Stop the Rain? Let's give a cheer to my friend Joy right here too. Go, Joy. 